Hey everyone, Brendan LePan from Ray White MacArthur Group and welcome to the most important and amazing lap weekly wrap of the year. And what a week it was, the mighty Penrith Panthers going back to back for the second year in a row. A dominant victory, all those little Parramatta fans that came out saying, we can do it. Well guess what, the mighty Penny Panthers prevailed. Um, super excited, got to celebrate it with all my mates and family and we had a, an amazing time, so up the Panthers. And outside of football, what else has been happening in the world of real estate this week? The RBA has moved interest rates again, this time only 0.25% of a basis point. Is that a sign of maybe them starting to slow down? I don't know, we'll wait and see. Retail figures are still coming out, people are still spending and there's still a lot of people locked into those honeymoon interest rates at 1.99 and 2.5%. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens to the market when those people do come off those fixed rates. In saying that, we are seeing the top end of the market still trading extremely well. We saw number 20 Underwood Circuit in Harrington Grove go under contract within the guide of 2 to 2.1. Out of area buyer, uh, after a great campaign, we're on the market for just under four weeks there. Shows you that that top end space is really tracking well. We saw some terrific results with some of our amazing properties there in central Camden going unconditional. 2A Pindari Avenue, that 1,700 square metre block, went unconditional after 30 groups came through in a short one week campaign. We saw number 18 William Avenue, that superbly renovated four bedroom plus a study in central Camden, also go unconditional for 1.75 million. Also, a massive result on that off market campaign, we alluded to that beautiful big five bedroom home plus a study at 15 Atrial Court, Harrington Grove, coming, uh, coming through with the off market campaign a few weeks ago. Happy to say we have secured a buyer right at the upper end of the high 2 million mark. Uh, we're currently in a cooling off period. It's a super result. Shows you the importance of that database in that we keep touching on. We also saw a super quick but highly effective sale for our great vendor Louise at number 18 Softwood in Spring Farm. It was a four bedroom home with an ensuite double garage and an attached one bedroom granny flat. Price guide was 115 to 125. A lightning quick campaign, we executed a fantastic result at 1.2, smack bang in the middle of the range, seven day cool off and a four week settlement, you can't get better than that. And a huge congratulations to our amazing vendors Bill and Deb Stanley there at number 11 AOTA Circuit in Mount Annan. And repeat clients, I had the privilege as I mentioned a few weeks ago to sell their home in Eagle Vale uh, about 10 years ago now. We went unconditional at a million and thirty, again a super clean campaign a great database buyer, and off the back of that, we've then sold their place in Roos, number three solitary place. Uh, again, going within the price guide of 890 to 940 after a short week on the market. Shows you our days on market is really tight when we've got the property price well, there's good presentation and there's great access. So what have we got in the week to come apart from more rain far out, we've had some rain. We have number nine, Stimson's Crescent in Grassmere. It is possibly gonna be one of the most sought after vacant one acre parcels to hit the market. It's a resale, we did sell the property uh, about seven or eight months ago, it has come back to market. We're doing a four week auction campaign. When you drive into this street, the calibre of some of the homes that have been built in there surely will create that high tension and demand for a great auction campaign. Uh, auction needs to be set in the next couple of weeks, so keep an eye out for that one. We've also got a super property at number 18, Veronica Place in Norellum Vale. It's a big four bedroom plus a study, three living areas, arguably the best street in Norellum Vale. Actually, not arguably, it is the best street in Norellum Vale by a fair bit. Uh, we're going to be coming on the market at 135 to 145, so I'm expecting some strong interest on that one. We're going to hit the market on the 11th of October. So that's the lap weekly wrap. You won't have to hear me talking about these guys until next year. Stay safe, look after yourself, and we'll see you next time.